From the discovery of the first lesbian in a Guatemalan jungle in 1957, to the day in 1918 when a lazy-ass Thomas Edison just sat around and invented jack shit, The Onion looks back at This Week in History. On May 6, 1937, the explosion of the German passenger ship Hindenburg brought cheer to an entire generation of Americans in the midst of the Great Depression. The souls of the American people were fleetingly revitalized by the flame-engulfed Zeppelin and the shrill screams of burning passengers leaping to their heartwarming deaths. Oh my, it's burst into flames! The burning embers and charred flesh are cascading splendidly onto the mooring mast. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the most terrific thing I've ever seen! Oh, the luminosity! The gaiety! On May 3rd, 1973, in Chicago, Illinois, the Sears Tower became the world's tallest skyscraper with a bold challenge to God engraved directly on its roof. The immense 108-story structure was designed by architects and city officials as an attempt to let the Supreme Creator know that if he's got a problem, he can either stay up in heaven like a little bitch or settle things once and for all by nutting up and coming down to Earth. Fuck you! Fuck you, God! Thousands of tourists soon came from countries around the world to stand atop the building's famous 1,353-foot-high sky deck and openly provoke God. When the building first opened, God never responded to the challenges, but he must have been called dickless one too many times because in 1986, God's mighty fist plunged through the clouds and just squashed a father of four right where he stood. You can read all about it in my new book and not my colleague, Professor Kaufman's new book, which only took him a year to write, whereas mine took nearly a decade. Look. Professor Eric Kaufman is a hack and a fraud, and he knows it. He drives around in that goddamn new car of his like he's God's gift. Well, fuck him. (laughs) Fuck him and his wife and his two little stupid fucking children and his whole fucking perfect, fulfilling fucking life. The impetus for building the Sears Tower came after many Americans felt that God simply couldn't see the two middle fingers atop of New York City's Twin Towers. And on May 7th, 2000, Vladimir Putin became president of Russia after promising citizens he could bend anything they gave him with just his bare hands. And that was what happened this week in history. In the words of the Italian philosopher Niccolo Machiavelli, whoever wants to foresee the future must first look at the past and then imagine all that old stuff looking more futury and space-like.